Hello guys and welcome to this new YouTube series. It's called Unusual Games. This is part one. This game is called Steam Will Dig. It's a very unusual game. It's free at the moment with PlayStation. Uh, also in my party is my cousin Mark. You can't hear him because Share Factory hasn't done that yet. Guys, this is 10 minutes. So I'll be talking quite a lot about this game. First of all, this game is one of the most unusual games. That's why it's called Unusual Games. But it's a very fun game. It's kind of got an idea of Minecraft, except putting it into 2D. I think it's only on PlayStation. I think it might be on computer too. I'm not sure. But anyway, as you can see, it kind of it, it's very much like a mining game in its own way. And guys, just to be warned, I kind of do die a lot in this game because it's actually the bit I was recording. It's actually really tough. So anyway, getting on to the subject, I think this game is actually is really good. Um, but what I would say about the game which would make it better is if you could actually do multiplayer. Uh, do all four friends like mining together, that would be a lot of fun. Another thing that Steam World Dig I think needs to do is um, allow like um, guns. Because even though you got a pickaxe as your weapon, it would be nice for these little critters here to just be shot <laughs> what do you think mark <laughs> um but um yeah my, my cousin mark's in the party you can't hear him sadly but yeah we just did a share play game of um nba <laughs> uh it, it was uh, it was okay he didn't do that well um yes but it, i don't know yeah, I didn't mean to. Actually, that is quite fair. <laughs> but, um, yeah, guys, uh, I will be doing the game series of it. I think I will be doing part two quite soon, too, because I've already got another unusual game that is just very unusual called Escape Plan. I can't even properly do that game. That is a very unusual game. But, guys, if you're... Um, if you're if you've got PlayStation Plus for November, you can get Steam World Dig free with PlayStation Plus. So that's what I recommend doing because even though it's an unusual game, it is really fun. Making it uh, a very one of the most enjoyable games that I've ever, uh, I've played just for fun. The mining is good and it um, as you can see, it's very artistic in a way of how the mines work. You don't have to use the D-pad. I don't. I only use the left stick. I don't see the point of using the D-pad. But anyway, as you can see, you try to get all as much as you can in this game. Because all will actually be used for trading, levelling up, which you go to the girl. And also buying better pickaxes, saving up your gold, which you get through all. So it's, it's actually one of those games where it's got a very good style of how it works but nobody would really buy it. It's one of those games where I wouldn't pay money for it, but I think it is it is a really good game. And I'm so glad, because actually when I first got PlayStation, I was looking at arcade games, and one of the games that, one of the arcade games that struck me most was actually Steam World Dig. This game, it's called Steam World Dig A Fistful Of Dirt. But um, this was one of the games that intrigued me most, and now it was free, I thought I might as well download it. The other game for part two, I'll be doing Escape Plan, which is also free for uh, for November. It's a very weird game, and so is this, to be honest. Um, they're both weird. So at the moment, in one minute, we'll come to our halfway because this is actually the longest video I've done. Sadly, for these ones, for these, for these um, pot for Share Factory, you only can do a video up to 15 minutes. Uh, I will be doing Let's Play series actually. Um, I'll do them for very short though, and hopefully I'll probably do games that I can manual save, so I can like stop it in the middle or something, which I will want to do. <laughs> uh, as you can see here, I'm quite stuck because uh, I don't know what to do. I don't know where to go, but where I should go is up. Um, where I will learn later on is up. So yeah guys, um, what I will say is that this game is definitely worth it. Uh, as you can see, I just went down here. And I'll probably go up top now and you'll see some of the characters. You saw the girl in the saloon. 
Oh no, you actually don't get to go there. I don't know what she's for. There's this other robot girl that gives you trade. Uh, and other stuff. And uh, other stuff. And then you got her dad, I think, called Cranky, who gets you all the better upgrades. What do you think, Mark, actually, of this game? So far. So, her name's Dorothy, yes, and when you talk to her, she gets you up to level because you've got some shit. And you get upgrades, and yep. And there's Cranky, and he gets you the upgrades. Um, I don't really listen to the, the dialogue. Yeah, I want to save up for a copper pickaxe, because that'll be way much better than a better pickaxe than the one I've got now, which is an upgraded upgraded one well, i think i probably won't talk for all 10 minutes i will probably talk for like uh i don't know eight minutes and then i'll probably just put some music for the rest of it i don't want it for that i don't want it that uh i don't want to talk for that long <laughs> i probably will in let's plays though all the things as you can see here is it's in a city called tumbleton population three people now it's four including you and uh, Lola, that's the selling point. Well, this is why it's rated a 12. Right? Uh, I think it's actually rated a 7, I'm not sure. But I think it's worth it if you've got a PlayStation 4 and you get it before. Well, the bit I don't like about monthly lineups is how they don't do it straight away. It takes quite a while for them to actually un un unleash their new monthly lineup. So it takes quite a bit. Apart from that, guys, uh, the other unusual games I will probably be doing are this escape plan. I might be doing... I'll do Velocity 2X. Even though that's unusual, that is quite good. I'll probably do it from first level game. I can't really pick. This is a bit I just died and died and died. Uh, I, it's really hard, this bit is, because you've got to get onto that one. You just keep on dying, really. I discovered that you have to like, yeah, so I've done that bit, done that bit, this is the tough bit, done that bit, couldn't do that bit, and you lose so much health, and when you try to do it again, which is in a bit, I'll do it, I'll do it, I'll do it, actually I'll talk for probably like 9 minutes, so I'm probably, actually I'll just do it, I'm not going to have any music for this one, uh, oh yeah, Hope you're enjoying this guys we haven't got long we only got two well actually we only got three more minutes left and then well it will end another thing that's uh, good about this game is well it's one of those games where even though it takes a lot of work because it's so tough it's also one of those games that's so fun that allows you to um, actually think it's just really good so yeah Apart from that, I hope you're enjoying this. We've got two minutes now left. And I can't do this bit. I don't know why. I still can't, actually. I haven't played Steam World Dig. So I actually, uh, yeah, I didn't. Well, I, did, I, I still can't complete this bit. Because the mine is actually so big. Joe's mine. That's your dad, I think, who died in the mine. So you get his pickaxe. It's a, it's a very weird game. But it's a very fun game. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, guys, I'll be back in a bit. So, yeah, um, guys, I'm back. Um, what I would say about Steam World Dig is if you want to get an unusual game, a game that doesn't really, you don't see a lot of game, it's just very unique, I think Steam World Dig is a game for you. It's one of those games where it's so unusual, but it's so unique at the same time. Uh, this is kind of like a review of the unusual games. And at the end, near, very near the end, when I see the deadline, I'll say a yes or a no, is it worth getting? You probably already know my answer, but I'll just do it anyway. As you can um, see, this bit might get a little bit repetitive now. It's just because it's so hard, and I hope you just uh, watch this for the review at the end. If you don't like the game, I think... I will give you a review. Un the unusual game series that I'll be doing is will be a review series, really, of games that 
you won't see a lot of games that are worth getting. So we're at 10 minutes, guys. I think I can see the deadline appearing. So what I'm gonna say now is I think yes or no. Put in the comments what you think, but I am saying this because I would recommend it. I say a big yes. Steam World Dig, even though it's very unusual, it's got a lot of good gameplay. So I'll see you guys next time for Unusual Games Part 2. And hopefully, and this time it'll be a, and next time will be escape plan, which I have no idea what I'm gonna review. See you guys next time.